What is up everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Thunder Call of the Wild, and today I want to do a guide here on Tiara for Seek a Deer. As many of y'all know, I am currently doing a grind for them to try and find an albino, one of the two rares that Seek a Deer uh, can have, but I thought I would kind of share the information that I've learned, that way y'all could either come in here and do a grind of your own, or just explore your own Tiara and try and find a diamond or a rare. So. Sika deer are a class 4 animal that are found only on Tiara, usually on the western coast. Uh, they are usually a fairly fragile animal. I say usually because usually I can hit them like I'm supposed to. But uh, they're a very fragile animal. They don't need a big gun. Um, the 308 uh, is a perfect gun for them. You don't need like the 7mm or anything. Like You can use it. It's a class 4 animal. Um, but you could near about do just as good with the 243. Like I said, they're not a very strong animal. You can take them down very, very easily. Now, where can you find Sika deer? They're usually located on the western coast of the map. Uh, you don't see any on this side of the mountain range. You just don't. Uh, best places I found are the river right here, this lake, this lake, uh, the Bay of Rest up here, the coast, this coast right here, and these three lakes. Those are all the areas that you can find them. So one of the best things about Sika deer is that since they're so concentrated, they're fairly easy to do a grind. Okay, like I'm able to have tents at every single place, multiple tents, and be able to cover their entire home range. Okay, that's important when you're doing a grind to try and be able to find all the animals to be able to hunt them all, um, especially because I'm doing herd management. So... I am only shooting the bigger ones, so a lot of my uh, herds now are smaller. So you want to be able to cover all that area to maximize the amount of animals that you're killing. So that's why Sika deer is such a good animal to do a grind for. So this is a Sika deer. This is roughly what they look like. They have like tall little like, kind of elk slash red deer antlers, but just on a very small animal. So I was just a little too low on this guy. Didn't realize how far away I was. But they go up to level 5. They also like to scream. That's another thing about Sika deer. They like to yell at you. Um, but Sika deer, they go up to level 5. Their max weight is 75 kg. So if you see an estimate of 62 to 75 kg, I would recommend tracking that one. Has the potential of being a diamond. Uh, their, their rare fur types are red spotted and albino. Um, I've never killed an albino. I've killed a couple of red spotted. Um, they used to be an uncommon, but when all the fur types were kind of changed around, the red spotted were made a rare. So we're just going to go around, check a few places. That way y'all can see where you're likely to find them. And then I think that will be it. But it's just the general information that you need to know. Like I said, any class 4 weapon will do. You can use the 308, you can use the 30 odd 6, you can use the 243. Any of those guns does a perfectly fine job. Because, like I said, these guys are very fragile. They don't take a lot to go down. So that also means you want to be careful with your shots because they'll die quickly from a bad shot. You more than likely won't get a second one. Alright, so right now there's a small little level 3 out here in front of me. This is the spotted fur type. Um, just a normal common. It's often easy to confuse them with the red spotted. They look very, very similar, but they're nowhere close to the same. The red spotted, once you really get a good look at one, you'll start to figure out what to look for. I want to make sure that there's none down in this little corner right over here. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, one of the things about the Sika deer that you will notice when you're hunting them is that they tend to split up in groups of males and females. Um, they're, they stay separate, males together and the females together. Like down that way, I have a herd. I don't know if you can see them from here, uh, but I have a herd of just females. And typically, if you find the females, it's just going to be them. Like I said, the males tend to separate. That is... I think a normal spotted fur type. I'm gonna shoot him just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure. Like I said, even I myself sometimes have a hard time determining which is the spotted and which is the red spotted. It can be very difficult. Let's see if we can get one more. Oh, I was hoping he'd stay broadside there for a second. I think I shot too high. That shot might have been better. 
But like I said, since they're so fragile, he will go down. Let's see what the fur type on this other one was. And then I'll also show you the scores. Um, because they have uh, not super like easy to remember scores. Let's see if there's anything down here. Nope. Yeah, this is just the normal spotted fur type. And he was a 60.72 kg, so not quite in that max weight estimate. So... Silver is 53.29, gold is 136.4, and diamond is 198.74. So yeah, I do love them though because they fit on the small plaques and they have really nice antlers, some of the big ones. So they just look super good in your trophy lodge. And the one other thing I wanted to go over real quick was the Sika Deer zone times. So they rest from midnight to 6 in the morning. Okay, they feed from 6 to 10. They drink from 10 to 1300 that's the time you really want to try and find them because tiaro is kind of thick in places and it can be difficult to find their feed zones so i recommend going after the drink zones uh rest uh from 13 to 1700 feed from 17 to 2100 and rest again from 2100 to midnight so those are your zone times that's when you want to be going after sika deer um, and that is when you'll have the best chance of finding them. 10 to 1300 along all the water uh, sources here on the western coast of the map. Well guys, um, I was not expecting this, but we have a nice little surprise out here in front of us. How about a guaranteed diamond Sika deer? I'll show him to you here in just a second. He has the V-Rack. So 203 to 245. Going ahead and drop him right there. Wow. Alright then. 190 kills into the grind and we have a diamond i mean hey what a way to show off how good grinding sika deer is this is going to be my third diamond in less than 200 kills doing herd management here on tiaro with the sika deer i think that's pretty good that's that's really good well i doubt that we're going to be able to end it any better than this right here so i think we're going to pick this guy up and then that will probably be the end of the video so let's see what we got here. It's a dark spotted 206.02. Not a half bad looking deer. I'll take that. Let's go. Go on ahead and taxonomize him. 72.6 kg. Got him in the bottom of the lungs there with the 308. There we go. Not half bad. And like I said, the cool thing about the Sika deer is they fit on the small plaques in the trophy lodge. And the diamonds have so many different rack variations. You can just do so much with them to watch. They look, they look absolutely fantastic. So guys, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you find any cool secret deer because of it. So with that said, hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.